Hey everyone, I'm photographer and filmmaker TK North. In this video, I'll be going through the very last step when it comes to video editing, and that's exporting your video from Premiere Pro. We're gonna be going through some of the different options and also the best settings that you can use for exporting video. So let's open up Premiere Pro and start exporting. So once you're happy with your project and ready to export, of course, make sure you save your project first. Use Command S on Mac or Control S on Windows to do this. Premiere Pro makes it super easy to export your footage. Yes, there is plenty of settings and options, but there's a few simple preset options that will largely cover most of your export. So once you're familiar with these, it's actually quite simple. When you're ready to export, make sure you're active on the timeline without an individual clip selected. Go up to File, Export and Media. Once you have the exporter window open, you'll see plenty of different options here. The first option that you will want to select is the codec. For most things, H.264 is a very popular codec for media distribution, and this will be the best option for most of your exports. Once you have selected H.264, you will see this drop down menu with plenty of preset options for exporting video. Perhaps the most useful one and the one that will cover most of your exports, especially when starting out, is H.264 Match Source High Bitrate. This means it will keep your settings largely the same from the sequence inside Premiere Pro by matching the source and high bitrate essentially refers to the quality of the export. Provided your sequence settings are correct, you won't really need to go through and change too many other settings here. Even if you've cropped your video sequence to a different ratio like 4x5 for an Instagram post for example, then again match source will mean it will keep this aspect ratio. There is plenty of other options here to select of course. Things like Vimeo and YouTube presets are available which can be really useful when uploading to these platforms. Here you can also rename your sequence and choose the file location by clicking here where the output name is provided. You can then change the location and the name of your exported file. A few other useful things to know in the exporter window. If you don't want to export your audio, you can simply untick export audio and this will just export the video file. In the same way, you can export just audio if you untick export video up here. Another option to manually change the resolution of your video. If you come across and click on video, come down to basic video settings. You can change the width and the height here as well. You can either keep it in scale or crop in if you wish. Here you can also change things like the frame rate and other settings. Ideally these settings should already be correct for whatever you are working with on your timeline. In the export window here you can also upload directly to a number of social media platforms. Simply go across to publish and you'll notice tabs to sign into social media accounts. Here you can add tags or whatever else you would usually use ready to publish straight to social media. When you're ready to export Simply click on the export button down in the bottom of the window and your export will begin. If you're using Media Encoder, this is another Adobe application that allows you to export and manage files. You can also select Q, which will open the export up in Media Encoder ready to export. If you're not familiar or not using this, no problems. As mentioned, simply just click export. Of course, there's many, many different options for exporting your videos and other codecs available. If you're using QuickTime on Apple, for example, ProRes files can be really useful, which you'll find under the other codecs up here in the drop-down menu. But these basic settings that I've already gone through will cover most of your exports and will be enough for you to export and upload your footage onto nearly every social media platform. So there you have it, the last step in the process of editing your video. It does always feel good when you have a finished video exported and ready to go and upload. Now, this is the last video in this little series looking at getting started in Premiere Pro. I'm TK North. I hope you have found these videos useful and thanks so much for watching.